Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Lightning Web Component series. If you want to watch other videos of LWC or any other concept in Salesforce, do visit the channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is two-way binding. Then we'll go through one-way binding in Lightning Web Component and then we'll understand why there is a need of one-way binding in LWC and what are the advantages of having one-way binding in LWC. So let's start. If some of you have already worked with Aura components, you might be aware of two-way binding. We are going to take an example of Aura component to explain the two-way binding in better way. So let's go to developer console. I have already created a component two-way binding just for an example purpose. So we have an attribute of type string that is first name and we have a lightning input and lightning button. So whenever user will enter a value for first name, we have binded it with the first name attribute and we have binded the on change of this lightning input with the method in JavaScript controller. In that method, I have just displayed the value of this first name attribute. Again, we have a lightning button on click of which I have binded it to a method in JavaScript controller. And on that method, I have just changed the value of this first name attribute. Okay, so let's uh, include this into an application so i have already included it into an application i will just preview this okay yeah so uh, i'll just open a developer console also to make things clear now the tries to change the value over here or tries to enter a new value so I'll enter it as good so you can see the value is being displayed over here so because we have displayed the attribute over here and also in the console log we can find the changed value so that means if user is changing the value in a ui part that value is being propagated to controller file now what happens if i click on this change value button so let's see it if i click on change value button so what we have done is in the controller file we have changed the value of this attribute to bad and that same change is propagated to ui also so this is nothing but a two-way binding any value change in ui is transmitted to the controller part and change in the value for attribute in controller part is trans transported to the uh, component part okay so two-way binding is achieved using this bound expressions okay so this exclamatory mark uh, just before the attribute makes this expression as bound expression okay uh, there is also unbound expression in aura components but we are not going to discuss that in this video okay so uh, we'll understand the one way binding in lwc we'll go through the similar kind of example in lwc and see what happens over there okay so let's go to the vs code we'll create a lightning web component we'll name it as and place it in a WC directory. Okay, so let's go to HTML part. We'll have a lightning input. and we'll display this first name over here okay in the javascript we'll declare a track variable first name and we'll give a default value to it okay so let's say we give a default value as a good
oh, sorry place it in a wrong place and we'll have this handle change method over here and in the console log we'll display the value of this first name attribute Okay. We'll deploy this component to our Salesforce org. So what we have done is we have created lightning input and we have created an on change function and bind to this lightning input and displayed a console log over there with this first name attribute so our component has been deployed let's include it into a our application let's see Let's refresh this application. Okay, so we have this lightning input over here, but there is some issue. Yeah, so this first name has to be similar here also. And also, we'll have a title attribute over here. save the changes and we'll deploy this to our salesforce org so if changes have been deployed let's refresh this application okay so the default value is present over here right now suppose if i try to change this value let's say bad what happens is the value is changed but it is not reflected in the uh, the controller part the javascript file why because there is only a one way binding over here whatever value is changed in the in the javascript that would be reflected in the html but whatever value changes in html that won't be reflected in the javascript part right so for that what we have to do is we have to handle this change uh, and implement this change using uh, events in lwc so what we can do is on this on change method int equal to event target and we'll change this first names value To the value we received from the user input now let's see what happens if I deploy these changes to Salesforce and check it again so it's been deployed okay now suppose if i tries to change this value of this input we can see the value change has been reflected in the controller part as well as in the ui part right so this is how how we uh, handle the change in the uh, user input and uh, bind it to the attribute in lightning web component so why do we have one way binding in lwc it was quite easy with two way binding and we didn't had to write any extra code and we didn't hand to uh, handle the attribute changes manually right 
so if you have worked with aura components you know there are bound expressions and there are unbound expressions right in case of bound expressions if the value of attribute is changed in the child component the change value is also reflected in the attribute which is binded to it in the parent component right and in case of unbounded expression it is not reflected but uh, if you look into lwc there is no such kind of binding in lwc if you uh, notice the syntax over here you can observe uh, there is no exclamation mark over here uh, before the attribute name right when we are binding it to lightning input so child component cannot change the value of parent attribute like it did in aura component using bound expressions okay and if it has to then we need to fire the events to handle the same and the change value in the parent due to the child will be propagated to the child component using one way binding again in lwc so there will be a consistency across all the components at the beginning you may find it somewhat frustrating but later you will understand and you will appreciate it as it will give you total control on your attributes and also you will know when the value of attribute is getting changed and whether it's child or parent who is changing that value so guys uh, we'll wrap up this video and in the next video we'll go into the depth and check how we can work with salesforce objects and fields using this one way binding so do not forget to watch that video also guys please subscribe to this channel as i will be coming with some more videos on interesting topics soon thank you